Hey, people. I'm just waking up. Don't you hate that when you go to sleep and you wake up and your mouth is drier than a desert? Oh my god. It's probably because I was sleeping like... That is pathetic. My mouth is like a desert. Boom, baby. Let's hit the start button and get that intro rolling. And this is the vlog, the vlog, vlog. Bye-bye. Breakfast is served, buddy. Today is one of those rainy days. What do you guys do on a rainy day? Do you sit home, chill, watching some movies? What do you do? I like to sit and relax and listen to some music and listen to the rain. Rain is very relaxing to me, so let me know in the doobly-doo down below what do you do on a rainy day. Hey guys, I got a quick question for you. Um, do you think the reason why we see so many bad cops on the news and in the media is because people have cell phones like this and they have great enough camera quality that they can walk around and carry a cell phone that has like an HD camera they can pull out? Because like I was talking to my dad, and he says he never remembers hearing this much commotion about good cops, bad cops when he was growing up. And I was like, well, look at it this way. Not everybody had a camera. And when they did have a camera, it wasn't a camera that took a uh, video. It was probably way harder to get a video camera and way more expensive to have a video camera in his generation. One never thought about that. I was like, yeah, if you took a video camera like I have in my helmet or a cell phone camera like a, a GoPro or anything like that and went back to the 1960s to the hippies, you probably would definitely see maybe bad cops, good cops, but it's because cops nowadays do bad shit. It's just being captured on video and you're seeing way more crazy shit because of this device. This little device is what is making the world so much different it's a it's a video camera it's the internet and a photography camera so pretty much what you're carrying around in your pocket is a laptop pretty much it does everything a laptop laptop can do but it's more powerful because you can carry this everywhere and snap a picture of somebody getting beat up or yell world star and then put it on world star hip-hop and then people see like a cop beating up a black guy or, or a black cop beating up a white guy that's what you see but just answer that question, would society be different in the 60s if everybody had cameras? Because this is the first generation that I know of that's had the capabilities of having cameras with them everywhere they go.
Let me know if you guys believe in this quote. Without a goal, you definitely cannot. You can't score. I gotta ask you guys, why as people do we have goals and we try to achieve them because we know in reality we're not going to achieve every goal we want because in real life everybody wants to achieve like that dream job, that career job, everybody wants to travel to some crazy destination where they've never been before let's say you're an American you want to go to Europe, a lot of Europeans want to come to America. I just always wonder why did we as people try to achieve so many goals in life when probably not even 10% of the goals that we have in life we will actually achieve. As a real reality guys, everybody has a destination they want to travel to. I think everybody at least travel to one destination that they want to go to, but not all. And what I mean by that is, let's say I go to England. I'll probably only go there once in my entire life. And that will be it. It's just the reality of the beast that most people will only travel to one destination that's like overseas once in their life. And I don't think everybody will travel the world and see multiple different countries. Even though you want to, I just think reality, you probably never will. So let me know if you guys think that is a real thing with, when it comes to goals. People set goals so high sometimes that they guarantee you will never achieve. I think you should set tiny goals that you know you can achieve and you know you can smash so you can work on another goal. But everybody has probably like 10,000 goals they want to achieve in their life. You're probably going to achieve maybe 5, 10% of that. Back, 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 back. With that being said, guys, I'm going to go finish my walkity walk walk. And I'll see you guys in another vlog coming very, 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 very. Peace, sucker. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.